Rajasthan is known worldwide for its vibrant culture, deserts, palaces and of course tigers. The Ranthambore National Park situated in Rajasthan is the jewel in the crown of state's wildlife parks, hosting several tigers. Hundreds of wildlife lovers venture into the national park every day to get a glimpse of these big cats in the wild. Situated barely 150 kilometers away from Jaipur and around 350 kilometers away from New Delhi, Ranthambore is a paradise for wildlife enthusiasts and heritage lovers. Wildlife tourism at Ranthambore has bolstered the growth of tourism in the region. Rajasthan, known for its palaces, has seen several of them transforming their properties into large heritage hotels, allowing visitors to relive the era of Raja, Maharaja and Nawabs. One among them is the Nahargarh Palace, spread over several acres of land just opposite to the Ranthambore National Park. Sir, Ranthambore is sitting in a hotel, it's an eco-sensitive zone. So, from day one, the concept was that we are with nature, we are with nature, we are with nature, we are with nature, we are with nature. Heritage hotels like the Hargar Palace have become popular sites for destination weddings and royal stays in the last few years. However, they have their challenges too. For example, the palace has around 100 spacious rooms, a banquet hall, an auditorium, a dining room, an amphitheater, swimming pools and much more. All of these rely on one thing, massive amounts of electricity from the grid. Several of these heritage hotels practice farm-to-table concepts where they grow vegetables near their properties for their guests. Can renewable energy like solar power cater to the needs of such large heritage properties when rooftop solar installation is a challenge? The answer lies in agrovoltaics, where agriculture goes hand in hand with solar power generation without hindering each other's growth. I would say uh, my father always wanted that our prop property should be uh, zero or negative carbon emission. Oh, right. right. Yeah. So uh, we actually took our time. Yeah. We had okay. the COVID-19 period. Yeah. Where we were actually thinking how could we achieve that. Right, right, and, right. And luckily in 20, I would say 2021, uh -huh. uh, at the start, that's when we thought, okay, it's been a while. Yeah. And now we started getting little business. Travel okay. trade had started. Right, right, that. right. Okay. So that's when we thought and we executed it. Okay. However, there are very few case studies of hotels roping in agrovoltaics for their energy and kitchen needs. It requires expertise and regular upkeep. This uh, plant has broccoli, ginger, mirchi, it has potato, beetroot, all of these being grown over here only. Onion and cabbage, these are all plants which are right now being grown in this farm. So when we came up to uh, the owners of Nahargar Ranthambore, they already wanted to get a solar installed at their property. And uh, Sir Gat Singh Ji has been very sustainably, he's been very active. And uh, when we spoke to them about the plant, his, he had a few concerns regarding the solar plant. He had a farm, which you can see in my background, which he wanted to utilize even after the solar installation. So that was a prerequisite for him. And also uh, he wanted to uh, utilize the water which is being used to clean the panels. So that we are doing over here with the, when the panels get cleaned, the water comes to the farm itself. Shifting to solar energy also allowed Nahargarh Palace to reduce its monthly electricity bills to more than half. A comparison of the monthly electricity bills claimed that the property was able to reduce its monthly electricity bill from around Rs 8 lakh 
to around rupees 2 lakh after adopting to solar power experts claim that the pro solar policies of the renewable rich state of rajasthan also boosted the growth of solar power in the state so the policy of rajasthan has uh, grown a lot so we have seen that uh, earlier the policies were with certain aspects we had a net metering policy now we with net metering policy is evolved so much that uh, 100% contract demand is allowed to have a plant if let's say your contract demand is 400 kilowatt you can have a pl- uh, plant of 400 kilowatt then secondly the transformer capacity earlier used to be around 30% they have increased it to 80% now they have a separate policy for behind the meter plants which were running without any kind of uh, government assistance earlier however nahargad palace is setting new examples by adopting to more environment friendly measures to reduce the use of plastics and reuse water among others okay. and a property also has a good water harvesting system okay all the acha water the, the rain water harvesting and all right. that and are you utilizing this uh, the fountain waters and this is all being recycled this is all been recycled oh we okay. have a sewage treatment plant at the property okay. this is actually ro waste what which we've been okay. utilizing it 500 liter ro uh, plant on site plant on site okay okay so uh, all the drinking water which you see that's yeah. all ro water all right we've just installed a bottling plant at the property okay where uh, glass bottles are used okay so plastic will be completely off the property absolutely with the scripting of these small success stories there are high chances that we can see more commercial establishments adopting these innovative ways of benefiting from solar power